Hi, I'm Steve Jones and we're going to look at some battery and magnet experiments. Now the first thing, let's keep this simple and let's use things which we will find commonly around the home. Electric wire, there's often bits, ends of electric wire. Cells out of batteries and so on, yeah. Nails, paper clips, pencils, cardboard tubes, they're all in your home, right? And from these things you can make such simple things as a magnet from a nail and a piece of wire. Simply by taking the nail and wrapping the wire around it and then attaching it to a battery. And that makes a simple magnet. Using this, of course, you can pick up paper clips and that is part of my shopping list, you might say. So that's a good little experiment to do and you can investigate the strength of the magnet, how many paper clips you can pick up by increasing the number of turns and by changing the number of batteries that you're uh, pushing the current through with. You'll also find that you're actually investigating heating up of a wire because you'll find this will get pretty hot when you do it and don't let it get too hot, it'll melt the wire. So that's one kind of thing that you can do with a battery and a magnet. But there are other things. If you get a sheet of paper, for example, and if you take your magnet with its coil and put it underneath, put it underneath here. So here is your magnet and it's working. Now, what you need for this are iron filings. Now, iron filings are what you get when you get a rasp or a, for, for rasping metal, and you rasp it and you rasp the iron, and you get these little bits of iron. And those are iron filings, you use a rasp or a file. You file them, and you can sprinkle these over the top. And if you sprinkle them over the top, and you set your current running in this, and then you just tap this, maybe cardboard is better, but you just tap this, you'll find you get a pattern, and the pattern will look something like this, and this will show you the magnetic field lines, you can't see them, but this shows you what they look like, and this is a very simple experiment to do. If you want to make this permanent, if you're very clever, you do this and then lift it off, all you have to do is get some of this uh, sticky-backed plastic, clear plastic, and very carefully just put it over the top, press it down, and there you'll have the impression of the magnetic field around your electromagnet. So that's some of the kind of experiments you can do with batteries and magnets.